You're watching BCTV. We're all about Brantford. You're watching BCTV, Brantford Government Television, a service of Brantford Community Television. This program is brought to you in part through the support of the Town of Brantford. Okay, I'd like to call this meeting to order. The RTM will be convened for a special meeting on Wednesday, April 19th, 2023 at 8 p.m. at the Fire Headquarters, 45 North Main Street to consider and act upon the following matters. Will everybody please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, liberty, justice, Item number one, roll call. Um, Mr. Moderator, I'd like to make a motion to appoint Chris Sullivan as the acting um, clerk. clerk. Motion Thank to you. have uh, Representative Sullivan uh, as an acting uh, clerk for tonight. Is there a second? Second. All right. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no choice. Your friends. Your friends. All right, roll call. Uh, Representative Alphone. Here. <clears throat> Representative More. Here. Representative Anderson. Here. Representative Barron. Here. Representative Black. Here. Representative Bonnenberger is not here. Representative Brooks. Present. Representative Conklin. Here. Representative Everson. Here. Representative Erlanger. Here. Representative Flanagan is here. Present. Yeah. Representative Greenberg. Here. Representative Healy. Present. Representative Henschel. Here. Representative Hines. Here. Representative Ingraham. Here. Representative Kelly. He re he's actually resigned. Resigned, okay. Thank you. Nice. Representative Lake is not here. Representative Moreska. Here. Representative Preet. Here. Representative Riccio. Yes. Rep Representative Shrestha. Present. Say that. Representative Sires. Present. Representative Stepanik. Here. I am here. Representative Torelli. No. Representative Tuhill. Here. Representative Verderam. Absent. Representative Witkowski. Absent also. Representative Wells. Poof. Absent. We have a quorum, okay? And represent or Selectman Cosgrove is XHA1. Okay, moving on to item two to consider an appropriate adopt a policy for virtual <laughs> meetings into the town meeting rules. Representative Blank. Black. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Uh, we've been working diligently on this. We had a draft that we uh, all agreed on. I sent it to the town attorney. He had kind of pointed us in a little other directions to try to future-proof our rule. Um, so we reworked it last night. We've got a, a finished copy that you all should be getting soon. Um, obviously, that doesn't meet our 48-hour limit under Frank's rule, and there was no particular urgency for this. So you should look forward to it. Um, so, so some of the highlights of the rules that you'll get um, in-person meetings will be the default. Uh, virtual meetings may be called by the chair or the moderator. Um, in advance, the committee or the body may overrule by a simple majority uh, the a decision of the moderator or chair to make it um, virtual and have it be in person. And lastly, we made clear that uh, removal of people is done 
under uh, Connecticut Statute 7-8 by the moderator or the chair um, if people are disruptive. So with that, uh, since we don't have a, a smooth copy for you tonight, <coughs> I'll make a motion to re-refer, and that was the uh, committee report, <coughs> re-refer. Thanks. Okay, uh, Representative Black, so through the committee, Representative <coughs> Black, Representative Black, <coughs> Peter. Peter. Oh, yeah, sir. Yeah, through, uh, Representative Brooks has something to add on. Wait a minute. Uh, Representative Black, did your committee meet on this? Is this a, just a yeah, vote? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The motion right, so, from the so report from committee right, was. I just want to make sure it doesn't require a second. Correct. The motion is to re refer this item. Representative Brooks, the motion is to re refer. I, I just want to clarify. <coughs> I think the motion needs to be re refer. But I, I don't believe in, in committee we voted to re-refer. We voted to accept it as amended by the town attorney, okay. not to re-refer. Uh, so the motion out of committee was to accept it. But I think the motion here, regardless, needs to be re-refer, re-referral, and we'll second it and re-refer it because we can't okay. hear it in meeting because we already approved it. All right, I'll, uh -huh. I'll with that uh, for the, the clerk. Um, what do I'll I make a motion to re-refer, and I think I heard a second from Representative All Brooks. Right. Um, basically, because we haven't gotten a, a smooth copy out to the uh, full RTM 48 hours prior. Okay, any discussion on the motion to re-refer? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The item is re-referred. Moving on to item three, to consider and appropriate approve the following fiscal 23 budget transfer requests from the assessor from regular wages and salaries, $20,617 to overtime, $20,617. Representative Tuhill. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. The RTM Administrative Services Committee met on this item <coughs> at our regular scheduled meeting Tuesday, April 4th. All members were present, Chairman Verderam, our, <coughs> our former chair of eight years, Alphone was there, uh, Representatives Amori, Erlinger, Everson, Sires, and Tuhill. We heard from uh, Brantford Assessor Barbara Neal. She's requested a transfer from within her own budget <coughs> from regular wages and salaries account to <coughs> overtime in the amount of $20,617. The Board of Finance approved Mrs. Neal's request at their March 27th meeting, and they recommended approval to the Brantford RTM. She said that right now in Connecticut, the position of data collectors are in short supply at present, and she, she in fact has one vacancy in the Brantford Assessor's Office for data Collector. So until this position is filled, which could take a while, she has to pay out overtime. But there's no impact to the town taxpayers because the money comes from her own accounts. So um, also, the Brantford RTM Administrative Services Committee took the vote and it was Everyone voted for it. So I put this in the form of a motion. Thank you. Motion on the floor to approve this uh, transfer. Any discussion? Members of the RTM? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Abstentions? The item passes. Item number four, to consider an appropriate approve the following fiscal 23 budget transfer from the request from the tax collector. From tax refunds, $19,960 to overtime, $19,960. Representative Tuhill. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. The RTM Administrative Services Committee heard this proposed transfer also on April 4th. Before us was the proposed transfer of $19,960 from the tax refunds account to overtime. Tax collector Robert Imperato was present. This proposed transfer was entirely within his own account. There's no outside funds, no impact on the Brantford taxpayer. Uh, tax collector Imperato explained that there was um, that there were all different items for him and his staff to work on 
Uh, he told us about some trailers that they had to look up, and then they had to contact the owners, had to collect property taxes from from the owners, and you know it all takes time. It's a long process, so that's what they, you know, that was the overtime cost. And uh, he also said there were other issues with the um, lockbox in Boston that had to be straightened out. There was some snags up there, and. Um, you know, but all the issues have been taken care of. So, anyway, so um, the thing we did at the thing we did at administrative services, we took we took the vote and it passed unanimous. I put that in the form of a motion. Thank you. Motion on the floor to approve this transfer. Any discussion from members of the RTM? <coughs> Hearing none. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Aye. Abstentions. The item passes. Moving on to item five to consider an appropriate approval request from the Director of Human Resources to change the crimes analysis position to manager of police accreditation, crime research and special projects, and correspondent salary adjustment. This transfer is estimated based on a May 1, 2023 start date for the manager of police accreditation, crime research and special projects. <laughs> Representative Conklin. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. I should say, I'm sorry, I've got to come. It's, the money is coming from contingency, $2,615. And it's, that's coming from contingency to regular salaries and wages, $2,615. Yeah, thank, thank you again. The Public Services Committee saw this on <coughs> April the 6th. And this is a request from Human Resources and, and in fact, from the police chief to change the position of crime analyst to be crime analyst, manager of police accreditation, crime research, and special projects, and a corresponding salary adjustment um, from 52,204 to 65,000 a year, which still puts this position somewhat at the bottom of uh, the survey of the towns with similar type jobs, but none of the jobs are exactly the same, um, but it does bump up so that we can offer more. Our, our current, or she may now be former, because it was a couple of weeks ago, uh, took a job making much more money with the state. So this is to bump up the responsibilities that all of you received a six-page job description and a letter uh, requesting this increase. And before our committee, uh, it was passed four to O, and I would put that in the form of a motion. Motion on the floor to approve this uh, transfer. Any discussion from members of the RTM? <coughs> Representative Henschel? Um, yeah, just a quick uh, clarification. <coughs> Is this now properly um, shown in our current our new budget request for the following year is this increase already taken care of no okay That's it. we'll have to take an action into next year any f any further discussion from members of the rtm hearing none all those in favor signify by saying aye aye, aye. aye. opposed abstentions the item passes Moving on to item six, to consider an appropriate approval request for the first selectman for a salary adjustment for the director of the, and the animal shelter <clears throat> from contingency $4,580 to transfer out $4,580. And corresponding transfer in funds 206, uh, operating transfer in $4,580 and increase the regular salaries and wages $4,580. This transfer funds is an increase from the remainder of the fiscal year going back to March 3rd, 2023. Resolved that the RTM approves the increase to the animal control budget fund for fiscal 23, 2023 from $441,935 to $446,515. This increase will be funded through an appropriation from the general fund contingency account. Representative Conklin. Yeah, thanks again, uh, Mr. Moderator. Uh, also on April 6th, the Public Services Committee uh, 
heard this, and I'm going to have to uh, say I'm, I'm sorry I forgot to write the notes as to exactly what the salary increase is, um, but it, uh, in consultation, uh, in consultation with uh, the union that she's in, um, it was the amount. Sorry, whatever it was, because I don't didn't write it down, uh, was agreed upon with the union, which it had to be, and I would uh, ask Jamie to. Yeah, I mean, there's 80, the exact dollar amount is just below eighty-two thousand. Okay. I think there's eighty-two thousand eight sixty-eight. I can look that up. And anyway, so the, the committee saw this and voted four to zero to accept it, and I would put that in the form of a motion. Motion on the floor to approve this. Uh, is there any discussion from members of the RTM? Re Representative Brooks. So I, I just want to clarify, just so I, I know. So uh, next month when we do our budget thing that we do on the Tuesday, see I remember it's on a Tuesday, uh, we're going to have to adjust the, the budget as presented by the Board of Finance to reflect this change. Because if, if contractually that person is going to get a 2.3% increase, it's going to have to be 2.3 to from what they're getting this year plus the 41, 2.3% of the 41.56. Or are they just going to? Uh, select my Cosgrove? Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll answer. Mr. Potter, the Oh. It, as we go through the budget, it's a it's a line item of salaries. We don't we're not going through and uh, adjusting a certain salary within that bucket. It's it's the whole bucket. We may have it at some point next year. Change it. It might not have to happen uh, on the budget uh, so, night. Just follow up on that. You actually took two two actions uh, tonight. You just acted on one, and we'll be acting on the second. So. At the committee meeting level for the crime analyst position, I believe at the end of the meeting we did discuss with that that salary adjustment that is taking effect this fiscal year. To your point, when the committee votes, they should be making a recommendation to the full body to also adjust that salary for next fiscal year, and then the, that'll be account for the crime analyst position for the director of animal shelter because that is um, or there's a fund which so that'll go back to the board of finance the board of finance will actually have to make at a later date will make an adjustment to the because they handle the revenues so they'll make that adjustment first at a future meeting um, and then it'll come back to the rtm to make that adjustment uh, into the the animal shelter budget okay so at your may your may meeting for to establish the budget the only uh s adjustment that you're going to need to account for is for the crime analyst for the fiscal 24 budget at a later meeting we'll come back to you for an adjustment for the animal shelter director position for the fiscal year 24. thank you any other discussions from members of the RTM? <laughs> Hearing none, all those in favor of the transfer signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Abstentions? Aye. The item passes. Aye. Moving on to item seven. To yeah. Hold on, Mr. Peter, Matter, did, Peter Black. did somebody abstain? Yeah. Peter Black. Thank Who? Peter well, Black. Represent Black. Thank you. All right, moving on to item seven, to consider and appropriate approve the following fiscal 23 budget transfer from the request for the Human Services Fund and Counseling Center as follows. Transfer Human Services, Human Services Fund fiscal 2023, fund balance Human Services Fund 64,000, increased transfer out capital 764,000, corresponding transfer in fund 700, Increase transfer in from Human Services Fund 64,000 and increase electric vehicle 45,000 and furniture 19,000 for a total of 64,000. Resolve that the RTM approves an increase in the Human Services Fund budget for fiscal 2023 from 
$938 to $1,877,938. This increase will be funded through an appropriation from the fund balance. Representative Tuhill. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. The RTM Administrative Services Committee heard this request on April 4th. The Board of Finance previously had approved this transfer on March 27th, and they recommended approval to us, the Brantford RTM. Peter Semino, the Counseling and Human Services Director, appeared before the Administrative Services Committee. He explained that an electric car charger has been installed at the Brantford Counseling Center on North Harbor Street. The Counseling and Human Services personnel transport children and the elderly and the infirm, and they wanted a new, reliable, electric car vehicle. They thought probably a small electric SUV would be appropriate, like a Kia Miro. Peter mentioned that there is a worker there that has one and she's and, and you know that it works beautifully and they're they're very impressed with it. So that's forty five thousand. All this is coming from their own account, so it's not impacting Brantford taxpayers. They they're also requesting another nineteen thousand because they need new um, furniture pieces for the the office, the main office. They've already replaced five or six pieces in that office, but they still need to replace another eight pieces. They mentioned uh, cabinets and um, stuff like that. I mean, it's the old stuff that they've been using for 20 years, I think. So anyway, we, we did hear this request and we did vote um, unanimously to approve the requested transfer, and I put that forward in the form of a motion, Mr. Moderator. Okay. Thank you. Motion on the floor will approve these transfers. Any discussion from members of the RTM? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. The item carries. Moving on to item eight, this will be a three part type of uh, transfer. To consider and appropriate, they approve the following transfers from the current year to, to reduce tax requirements in the fiscal 2024 requested budget. Item A, general fund contingency transfer from contingency 39,500 to technology acquisitions copiers 39,500. Representative Healy. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Yes, uh, the Ways and Means Committee met as a special meeting April 11th. And with this, as you see, it's just the uh, copiers for the town uh, for things that have been going bad. And we did vote on this, and it did pass uh, in committee, five to nothing, and appointed its passage in the form of uh, motion. Thank you. Motion on the floor to approve this transfer. Any discussion from members of the RTM? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The item carries. Item uh, B, transfers from fund balance, from the fund balance, $646,000 to increase the transfer out capital fund, $646,000. And, tra and transfer capital fund, 700, transfer in 646,000, <coughs> and increase the BOE security system, $646,000. Representative Healy. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Yes, this was also heard, um, but I'd like to first start with, uh, obviously nobody in this room or anywhere would be in their right mind to be against increasing the security, not just for our residents, but of course our children in our town. However, nobody came to present at our meeting on this subject matter, and we only had one page. And given the extensive amount that they're requesting, there was a lot of questions on both sides of the aisle. So we decided to re-refer this to our next meeting, and that did pass as well, five to nothing and I put it's a re-referral in the form of a motion. Thank you. Okay, motion on the floor is to re-refer this item. Is there any discussion from members of the RTM? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? This item is re-referred. Moving on to item C, Coastal Resilience Fund. Increase the fund balance transfer by 100,000 and increase the cattle crossing design and permitting by 100,000. 
Resolved that the RTM approves the appropriation of 100000 in the Coastal Resilience Fund. This appropriation will be funded through an appropriation from the fund balance. Representative Healy? Yes, thank you again, Mr. Moderator. Uh, so what we have here is um, utilization of what we think that money should be for, for the Coastal Resiliency Fund. There's going to be a survey done of that bridge, if people aren't fully uh, aware, of Meadow Street by the old electric station in the Elm there. Park, whichever that one is. Yeah. Uh, I'll spend a lot of time talking about that. It's one of those. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so they're going to be doing a survey of that area for any type of hurricane style uh, waters that could come through that area and then flood into Meadow Street on us. So, uh, we did approve this in committee, five to zero, and uh, put its passage in the form of a motion. Thank you, sir. Okay, motion on the floor to approve this transfer. Any discussion from members of the RTM? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? This item passes. Moving on to item nine, adjournment. Just before we adjourn, I'd just like to mention for everybody that the budget meeting will be May 9th. As Representative Brooks made a mental note of it, it is a Tuesday. <laughs> so uh, hearing that that's it, then uh, there's a motion to adjourn. So Representative so uh, Ingraham, is there a second? second? I'll second. A second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned. This program was brought to you in part through the support of the Town of Brantford. Watch town meetings and other videos on demand at BrantfordTV.org.